Here are three reasons not to buy the Ocelot Pariah. Number one, oversteer. Even though the handling of the Ocelot Pariah is actually very good if I do say so myself, it does have a lot of oversteer. So if you are not that good of a driver in GTA Online and you're not that good at controlling an oversteer, well the Pariah has a lot of it and well it is not for you. And not only that, the Pariah is also just too powerful that if you do not know how to use the accelerator, well you're just going to spin out all the time. Number 2. Skill Level Required The Ocelot Pariah, although a fantastic vehicle, is a very hard vehicle to drive. So in order to really enjoy and drive the Pariah to the limits, you have to be a very very good driver in GTA Online. And that translates to it not being friendly to every skill level or every player. Because if you are just a casual player or you are not really that good at driving, you will just spend your days spinning out in a circle or just crashing into well cars, trees, walls, buildings, whatever it is. So if you are not that great of a driver, then the pariah is actually not that great of a pick for you. Number 3 Well guys, to be honest with you, there is no third reason not to buy the Ocelot Pariah because it is just an amazing vehicle. And yeah, there is honestly not that much fault with the car apart from maybe the oversteer and also the skill required. But honestly guys, apart from that, the Ocelot Pariah is a good car and yeah, not much more to complain about. And well guys, those are the three reasons not to buy the Ocelot Pariah. Come on, come on, come on.